Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another really big Bath & Body Works haul. Can I ever stop? So I went ham, but I did have an excuse. Okay, probably have like over 20 items here to show you guys and I swear I probably only paid like a total of like 30 bucks for everything The main reason why I went is because today like literally the day that I'm filming this the day you guys are seeing this I'm gonna be filming this and editing and posting it on the same day Bath & Body Works has their huge body care only sale where literally every body care item from body creams lotions mists literally any body care item that you can ever think of will be 550 like all the expensive stuff all the cheaper stuff everything will be 550 the only thing part of the body care that is not going to be on sale is like the full size perfumes but the mini perfumes are included in the sale so those will be 550 and i believe those are usually like I think like $14.50 or something like that. This is just the time to basically go ham. I personally find that this is even better than the semi-annual sale because during the semi-annual sale, the seasonal stuff goes on sale and then they also bring some retired scents back, but like their core products, like in the stars, into the night, um, you're the one, I don't know, I can't really think, but like their core products that are like on their main walls that they sell all year round this is literally the only time that you can get these products for five dollars as i said i had a ton of coupons make sure that you are signed up with bath and body works because they will send you so many coupons all the time i had so many free gift coupons i swear almost half of this stuff was free gifts that they had sent me and then also i had like ten dollars off of 40 which is how i ended up spending like 30 bucks on literally all this stuff but i really just wanted to post this video for you guys today because the sale is only going on today and tomorrow in stores i believe it's only today online but if you are planning on going to the actual store you have today and tomorrow so that's why i really wanted to post this today so that you guys can get maybe some ideas of some stuff that they had on the floor they brought out a lot of new scents which i was really excited about and they also brought back a couple retired scents so i have it all in this video i have core products retired scents new scents we're gonna go through it all so with all that being said let's get straight into this video okay so i'm gonna start off with the brand new body care that is out i'm not really sure what this collection is called but it's this collection right here they're kind of like all everyday chill kind of fragrances at least that's kind of like what they're advertised as so this collection includes vanilla mocha cream cozy sunday morning and whipped rose latte and let me tell you this collection is amazing i really like all of these so let's start off with vanilla mocha cream doesn't that just sound like a gourmand lover's dream this actually reminds me a lot about a perfume that i talk about all the time which is my skylar vanilla sky perfume which also has cappuccino in it and i think that's why i'm feeling like the similarities but this is giving me that same really really cozy super sweet vanilla sugary scent with also like that mocha vibe it's like a sweetened coffee drink and it literally smells so similar to my vanilla sky and you guys know i always talk about it so if you cannot afford that perfume then go and check this one out especially right now where you can get it for 550 this has fragrant notes of cozy cappuccino Oh my god, that's literally insane. I literally just told you guys that I find them similar and this also has cappuccino in it. So, there you go. So it has cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. And the description says cozy up and embrace the comfort of spending time at home. It's so sweet, girly, sugary, with a little hint of like a mocha cappuccino vibe. This is so similar to my Skylar Vanilla Sky, which I'm in love with, as you all know. So, I will definitely be pairing these two together beautiful combination you'll probably see that in a video okay the next one which is also like latte coffee themed this is whipped rose latte this i thought would be a really weird combination because i'm not really into rose scents that much but i'm into this rose scent this is the type of rose that i can get on with i do not like super vintagey super like grandma rose scents this is like a very modern rose scent and it's also kind of like a freshly picked flower honestly this smells a lot like rose water like actual rose water if you go and actually spray it on your face it's like that really really fresh rose scent not like that really heavy synthetic 
grandma type rose this is not that at all this is a really fresh dewy freshly rained on rose but then with also that latte which is such a weird combo but it just works this has notes of crushed rose petals cocoa flower and whipped foam that cocoa flower and the whipped foam it kind of like makes the rose more creamy and a little bit more dense and more sweet which is kind of strange because usually rose scents are not going to be really sweet but this is so pretty it's very like much of an intimate scent it's not going to really project or be anything crazy to like wear outside a nice little robe that you got on a cute little movie cozying up cuddling up this is the scent i feel like paired up with so many perfumes that is going to just be amazing and then the last scent in this is cozy sunday morning when i first smelled this in the store i was like uh, and then my fiance was waiting for me in the car as i was in bath and body works and i went in the car and i was spraying all these I actually sprayed this on him and i went to go and hug him at one point and i was like what you smell so good and then i realized i had just sprayed this on him and it smelled so incredible like this smells so good this has like kind of a cologne vibe to it but very light like it's not super masculine it's not masculine at all it has fresh lavender in it which is what is giving it kind of maybe like a unisex vibe this is a really clean fragrance but it's a clean fragrance i could get on with because it's not a boring clean scent this is fresh lavender creamy vanilla and soft sandalwood i did not expect to love this as much as i do but i definitely do kind of smells like a body wash like a shampoo like a hairspray i'm not really sure but it's a really good scent i i highly recommend that when you go to the store you definitely smell cozy sunday morning it really does smell like a cozy sunday morning there's something about it it's really clean it's like you just did your laundry and like your whole apartment smells kind of like laundry but better this is not boring i really like this and then the last new scent that they brought out this is starlit night so i was really confused when i first saw this because for some reason this kind of looked like a retired scent to me i didn't really know whether it was new or not and then i saw like the new sign and then i was like oh okay like that's a new scent the packaging definitely drew me in it was kind of giving me dark kiss vibes back when dark kiss was in this kind of packaging kind of looks like moonlight path or something i do not like moonlight path by the way it's way too musky for me i i really do not like it it is one of the retired scents that they did bring back so you can find it for five bucks in case you do like that scent but i personally do not i haven't heard anything about this because this literally just came out today but to me personally this smells a lot like a watered down in the stars or if you made in the stars more fruity and i love in the stars it's honestly like probably in my top 10 bath and body Works scents i just love in the stars there's something about that scent that just gets me every time i'm obsessed with it but this one really has that sort of dry down of in the stars but with kind of a fruity upbeat quality in the beginning it almost reminds me of aqua kiss a little bit like that fresh aquatic scent from victoria's secret i actually don't like aqua kiss i find it to smell very cheap i know everybody loves that scent like literally people rave about aqua kiss i never really got into it personally but this is a lot more high-end aqua kiss in my opinion like this is what i would have wished aqua kiss to smell like because it's a little bit more luxurious and it has that undertone of in the stars like kind of like that baccarat rougey vibe that's what i'm getting out of this but just a little bit more fresh this has snowberry midnight iris and sensual agar wood the description in this is the magic of the night sky is yours with this dreamy constellation of fragrance that feels like lying under a twinkling canvas of a million stars so i guess this is kind of described as like more of like a nighttimey fragrance and that's kind of the category that i would put this in because it is kind of like a darker vibe overall to be honest in the store when i smell this i was like this is kind of generic it's nothing to write home about but now actually having this and smelling it out of the stores you guys know when you smell scents when you're actually in there you can't smell anything but when you're actually home then you can get the true scent and i really really enjoy this one i think this will work well with a lot of perfumes for a really good layering combo so i'm really glad that i have that in my collection now if you guys need some inspiration for which products you should buy considering 
every single body care item is 550 literally even the stuff that's higher end is going to be 550 and even the stuff that's lower end is going to be 550 so this is going to be the time that you're going to want to get the really big ticket items in my opinion those items are these right here these are their glotion body butters these are freaking amazing and this is definitely the time to buy these these are like 20 dollars regular price but to get them for 550 is amazing because this is actually a really good product it's super moisturizing but it has so much glitter in it and it's like really fine glitter and it literally will make you look like edward cullen like the glitter i put it on my arm earlier the glitter is like it doesn't go away and it's super fine but it just catches the light it literally makes you sparkle and it's not annoying where it's gonna get all over you and you're gonna feel it you don't feel it at all and you also get the scent with it along with how good this is so i bought this in in the stars which is one of my favorite scents like i said and then i also bought it in a thousand wishes which is another one of my all-time favorite scents oh i love this i cannot wait to use these i don't know why there's something about buddy butters that makes me want like eat them is it just me anyways if you guys end up going to the store during these two-day sales definitely try to go for these items this is going to be the stuff that you're going to want to pick up for sure. And then speaking of in the stars, I got another in the stars. I kind of am like almost halfway through mine. I love my in the stars. I use it all the time. I have the full set. I layer all my products together and I'm in love with this scent. This is that like cloud Baccarat Rouge vibe, but it's not as sweet. It's still very sweet though. I, I literally don't know how to describe it, but it is in that scent profile as Baccarat Rouge. It has that kind of ozonic vibe to it, but it's just better. I don't know how to explain it i would honestly pay 300 for this as opposed to the actual baccarat rouge because i have smelled the original baccarat rouge and i didn't really love it like it basically smelled exactly like ariana grande's cloud which i already have and although i like the scent it's not my all-time favorite kind of scent profile like i wear it occasionally but it's a little too sweet for me even for somebody that loves sweet scents i don't know about like the mixture of that ozonic vibe with like super sweetness sometimes it can kind of give me a headache but the way it's done in this scent, this is phenomenal. Probably one of my most complimented body mists that I own. And I own a lot of body mists. So freaking good. Every time I put this on, I cannot stop smelling myself. And if you want to get this scent, this is definitely the time. Because their core products do not go on sale other than basically today. This has fragrance notes of sunflower, sandalwood musk, sugar tangelo, white agarwood, and radiant amber. You got a lot more going on in this. It's a lot more complex and super perfumey for, especially for a Bath and Body Works body mist. This does not smell like a body mist and it doesn't stay on like a body mist because usually body mist will leave your skin, your clothes, everything within like a few hours but this one actually performs like an actual perfume it'll stay on for a good six hours and even more honestly especially if you layer it top tier product then i saw this this is marigold and cane sugar i believe they brought this out during the fall time i didn't pick it up though i don't know if i've even ever smelled this scent before like i knew that i saw it when they first came out with it but i must have just walked past this because after smelling this i was like this is really good and the fact that it was also 550 i was like this is definitely going to be the time that i pick this up because they've gotten rid of these scents already but i guess they just brought it back for the sale because i hadn't seen this since it actually came out during the fall time this has notes of golden citrus sunshine marigold cane sugar and warm amber it kind of opens up a little fresh and citrusy but then you get that cane sugar and you get the um amber scent and it becomes very warm overall, but still with kind of like this freshness. But it's like freshly sweet, if that makes any sense. But with also amber, which also rounds it up a little bit more. I really like this. It's kind of like a basic scent. It's not the most complex thing in the world, but it's a really pretty sweet scent. Especially for layering wise, which I always do. I really like this. So I'm definitely not mad that I picked this up. Especially for $5, definitely worth right. it. And then I'm not going to talk that much about this because I'm pretty sure everyone and their mothers knows about this scent. This is Dark Kiss. I think it's been around for like a century. It's been around for a hot minute. So everybody pretty much knows how this smells. But as I was going through my collection one day, I realized that I actually didn't have the lotion of Dark Kiss. I do have the um, body mist and I do really like it. Obviously, I who doesn't love dark kiss it's such a beautiful sensual dark sexy scent it's a really pretty scent very like
captivating and it has like this sweet quality but it's very like edgy and mysterious at the same time this is black raspberry burgundy rose bergamot incense dark vanilla bean and plum musk this is one of the scents you get from bath and body works that smells like a legitimate perfume and performs like a perfume it's amazing and it is a retired scent but they bring dark kiss back a lot i feel like they almost always bring it out in their semi-annual sales or when they just have like any regular sales like today they always bring out dark kiss so even though it's retired you can pretty much always get and it and then i picked up this so what's not included in the 550 sales is like the full size perfumes but you can get the minis and when i was going over to these i was like i'm only gonna get that if it's a spray if it's a rollerball i'm not getting it i don't like rollerballs sometimes i just can't get it out of the thing or it just like gets stuck rollerballs are just annoying to me so when i saw that this is a perfume spray i was like yes i'm definitely getting that for five bucks they're originally like 15 dollars, so it's a pretty good deal and i love this you're the one such an amazing scent which is so odd for me to say because i don't like rose and this is like the heaviest of rose scents ever but i've gotten so many compliments every time i've worn this this is another one that is like the top most complimented bath and body work scents ever and it smells really good it's the type of rose where yes it's a really heavy rose but i like it every time i've worn it i really like it it's like rose but there's a sweetness to it it reminds me a lot of like a miss dior-esque type of scent so if you're into that you're gonna love this i love it it's like sweet and rosy at the same time and if you're interested in any rollerball this is definitely the time to buy these so two scents that i thought i would have never picked up <laughs> I picked up first i'm going to talk about pumpkin pecan waffles i never in a million years thought that i would pick this out like actually buy it i think it came out during the fall time and then they took it away and they brought it back for the sale so many people talk so highly of this stuff and i remember smelling this when i was at the store when this first came out and i was like oh like i don't like that that smells too like punchy i think i had just sprayed it on my arm but i think i had other things on my arm so i think that probably influenced the fact that i didn't like it like right then and there and i kept hearing so many people love this product and talk so highly about it so i was like let me smell it again just give it another chance so i went and smelled it and i really like it even out the bottle this smells so sweet it kind of is in the same realm as like christmas cookies coconut cream pie joy sugared snickerdoodle like it's in that like bakery sweet baked goods cookie type of scent like extra gourmand like smells like food type of scent this honestly reminds me a lot like a lot of cherosa 71 from sol de janeiro if you want to dupe to that this is it in the scent notes this has maple syrup golden waffles pumpkin spice and brown sugar the two things that I hate most are brown sugar and maple syrup. I do not like that scent whatsoever. Although I can smell the pumpkin in here, this also has that really intense sweetness to it. Like so sugary and cookie-like. And I'm telling you, it reminds me a lot of like that macadamia scent that is in the Cherosa 71. So this is a possible dupe obviously cheros 71 doesn't have like the pumpkin -y scent and this one kind of has it but it's not that heavy even in here once it's like fully dry down and you go and smell yourself you're just gonna literally smell like a dessert like freshly baked sugar cookies that's literally what this smells like i swear i'm like the queen of not liking products and then really liking them clearly my nose is super indecisive but I really like this now i specifically love wearing these types of scents to bed because i'm telling you you smell so good when you wake up it's like game over whoever you're sleeping with that sounds kind of weird but whoever you're sleeping with will enjoy it a lot because this smells so intensely good. and then the other scent that i swear i was such a hater of but i went and smelled this today and i couldn't stop smelling it berry waffle cone i think they brought this out during the summer actually but i saw that they had brought out this one i think grapefruit frosé i do not like that scent that's a scent that i do not like i think it's so bitter to my nose i don't like it at all but berry waffle cone though this I cannot stop smelling this now. This has notes of sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. 
berry waffle cone is exactly what this smells like this smells like a berry waffle cone this smells like a berry cereal it's so dense this is anything but fresh super dense super gourmand so amazing i feel like the packaging makes it look so like there's literally like hot air balloons and stuff here even like the color of it kind of looks like it's like soft and airy and sweet no this is dense in your face strong although i think this is a fair now that i'm looking at it because there's like a ferris wheel and stuff so honestly the fair thing yeah i do agree with because it does give you like when you go to a fair all those like scents that you smell from all of like the food stands like the dessert ones specifically that's kind of like what this smells like so you definitely have to be into gourmand scents like ultra gourmand scents to appreciate this but i really like this and i never thought it would all right then they brought out some retired scents so the first one i bought is midnight pomegranate i i was so excited to see this because i love any pomegranate scent one of my all-time favorite if not my all-time favorite scents from bath and body works is be enchanted and that is like a sexy pomegranate delicious pomegranate fruity scent and midnight pomegranate sounded basically just the same but this one is ruby red pomegranate sparkling casses white jasmine blackberry spice and patchouli so you know when you add patchouli to anything you kind of get it to smell a little bit more perfumey this honestly reminds me a lot of be enchanted but just if you added patchouli i smell the patchouli in it but it's a very very sweetened out patchouli it's kind of like a fruit chewy but i really like it because that patchouli is not dominating over the fruits a lot of the times it's usually the other way around and the patchouli just overshadows everything else and i do not like that because i'm not into patchouli like that but the way it's done in here is really nice it adds depth to this sexiness and just makes it super high-end smelling it gives it like that perfume quality but without taking away from all of the amazing notes that this has like the jasmine i smell the casses and then the ruby red pomegranate this is amazing ultra sexy super fruity but i'm not mad that this has patchouli in it because this is making it very like luxurious and high-end smelling so i love this this is the first time i've ever owned midnight pomegranate and it's definitely going to stay in my collection for a long time then i picked up this i have no idea when they've come out with this scent in the past i've never heard of this scent so i don't know if it's just like a rarer scent i'm not sure this is happy vibes there's fragrant notes of pink citrus crisp pear fresh honeysuckle sheer vetiver and dewy orchid this is one of these like mood booster type of scents for sure like i definitely think the name happy vibes is very fitting to this this is a very fresh kind of citrusy but it kind of has a sweetness to it as well because it does have pear and pear kind of gives the sense like this sweets fresh kind of smell like very much airy and light that's this scent very much like an everyday type of scent i really like this one though and it still has that sweet vibe that's making me love it because you know all my scents for me to love them have to have some sweetness to them and i love this one it's definitely a scent where the name is very fitting definitely happy vibes for sure and then the last full size scent that i have is magic in the air now i'm gonna be honest this packaging alone drew me to this scent because this is probably like my favorite color ever it's like this tiffany blue i don't know if the camera is kind of picking up i feel like the camera is making it look like a baby blue but this is definitely like a teal true tiffany's blue color which is like my favorite color ever so that definitely drew me into this but the scent is actually really pretty it has a really perfuming scent to it it's more so like on the fresher side this has notes of almond flowers sparkling persimmon white iris whipped vanilla bourbon and fluffy sandalwood so this definitely has some pretty complex scents to it it starts off and when you smell it in the bottle it kind of deceives you because in the bottle it's so fresh and you're like oh this is just really fresh and airy nothing special but then you spray it out and you get hit with that vanilla bourbon and then the creamy sandalwood gives us like this denseness and this really heavy creaminess to it that i'm obsessed with i remember this being out a while back in a different packaging and it never drew me in i don't think i even smelled this scent but now 
just because of the packaging, I went and actually smelled this and I love it. I'm just one of these stupid people that actually fall for packaging. Is it just me? Please tell me it's not just me. Sometimes I buy things just because of the packaging. It's, it's literally the dumbest thing. Right. So the last things I'm going to show you guys are the minis that I bought. So I bought these actually when they were having the $3 sales on the minis. Um, when they were doing like their stocking stuff for sales. So basically all the mini body sprays were only 3 bucks. So I have hot cocoa and cream. I did not think I would like this, but I like this. The chocolate note in here is so prominent. I don't know how they do this because their names, I swear, smell exactly like what they smell. Some of them, not all, but I feel like they do gourmand so well because I swear this smells so much like hot cocoa and cream. This literally smells like, like a cup of hot chocolate on like a cold day. The scent notes that are in here are creamy cocoa, mini marshmallows, and vanilla musk. I think the star of the show beyond all else is just that creamy cocoa. Like that cocoa scent in here is probably in all of like my body sprays, perfumes, and everything that has notes of chocolate in it. This is the most chocolatey. This is so sweet. They did that so spot on. And then I picked up Merry Christmas iced cinnamon rolls. To me, this doesn't really smell like cinnamon rolls. It kind of has like a spice to it, but it doesn't actually smell super gourmand. This has notes of cinnamon roll, orange, and sugar glaze. So it's like sweet and spicy. And then it has that cinnamon scent to it, but... I don't think this smells too much like a gourmand, but it smells really good and it's very sweet. If you like sweet, spicy scents, this is definitely for you. It smells like Christmas though, like that spicy Christmas, like holiday feeling type of scent, like that scent that's in the air during the holidays. It's very reminiscent of that. And the very last scent that I have to show you guys, this is Merry Christmas Raspberry Sugar. This is definitely more my speed. Berries are like my favorite, as you guys can tell. And this one literally smells like a raspberry candy. It's like a sugared raspberry candy it has notes of raspberry sugar and citrus it has like a bright freshness to it but you don't actually smell like a specific citrus note it's just a little bit fresh but overall it's like raspberry and sugar and very very sweet it's not like gourmand at all it's just fruity sweet the last sense I have to show you guys, this is actually not for me. This is for my little brother. He's obsessed with bourbon. This is his favorite scent. I actually was with him. I dragged him into Bath and Body Works with me. Like we were shopping at the mall and I was like, I want to stop by in here. And just to kind of lure him in with me, I was like, they actually have men's scents. I think I bought it for him like a long time ago and he said he loved it. So I bought the um, cologne little sprayer thing and then i also bought the body spray because he just loves this and this is like a top tier scent definitely the scent to get for any man in your life your dad your brother your boyfriend whoever get them this it smells amazing so that is it for this giant haul i'm super happy with all my picks and i'm so happy with the fact that i got them for such an affordable price i love that i had coupons on all this stuff because it saved me a lot of money so I'm really happy to get this out for you guys so you guys can know what's out there. That way you can make up your mind if you want to stop by. Tomorrow, remember, is the last day of the sale if you want to participate. That is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!